Hello everyone and welcome to episode number two of the, the chests only Hardcore Iron Man Snowflake account. Uh, thank you all so much for your beautiful, beautiful support on episode one. I was absolutely astounded. Did not think that it would take off as well as it did. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are watching episode two, again, thank you. Oh my goodness. Let's not die to this scorpion. And uh, if you're not subbed yet and you've watched episode one and you're not watching episode two, just think about hitting that sub button. I am uploading every three days on the channel. Uh, just to go over a couple things before we get started into this episode that has a lot of gains in some actual chests that we will be looting. For clarification purposes, I know I did not go over all of the chests in episode one due to time constraints. So there will be chests that we will have access to later on that I just did not talk about, like gauntlet, uh, clue scroll chests, and stuff like that. And I want to reiterate that if a quest or clue scroll requires us to obtain items or skills or complete quests in order to open that chest, we will be allowing ourselves to do that as I'm not going to limit myself to the already limited content we will be doing on this channel. So if that means I need to buy like a steel axe or something uh, in order to complete a clue scroll, I will be doing that, but the item will only be used for the clue scroll step and nothing else. Without further ado, thank you all so much for watching and enjoy episode two, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we are snagging our first level. That is two fishing. We're gonna be working towards 35 because we can get chests as a reward from Temporos. So that's going to be one of the first things I'm going to do until I become um, a member. I'm just kind of chilling out right now. Then we're going to work on thieving and start thieving some coins from some chests over in Arty. Here we are with three fishing. Four fishing. Beautiful five fishing here. I went ahead and um, just got members anyway on the account. So now kick sardines. We're going to be staying here fishing shrimp until 15 fishing. Here we are with six fishing. Just a few more levels to go. Seven fishing. Beautiful eight fishing. Nine fishing. Here we have ten fishing. We can now fish herring. And there we are with eleven fishing. Alright, just three more levels to go. We just got twelve fishing. As I said before, we're going to be doing this, uh, getting a couple of thieving levels. Go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be working towards here. We're going to be working towards thirteen thieving and Thieving from chests in Arty for some cash and getting up to 28 thieving. 13 fishing here. Here we are with 14 fishing and I want to take a moment to talk about the clue scrolls that we will be doing on this account. So any clue scroll we will complete. We will not be dropping any of them even if they're out deep, deep in the wild. And if I need the requirements and I don't have them, of course, since it is a chest loot, I am going to allow myself to get those skill level ups, even if it includes buying something like feathers or thread from the shop. Since we are going to be opening a chest up at the end, I see it's well worth it. Uh, it's just like doing quests from trying to get to uh, raids to and um, like Death to the Door Christian chests, stuff like that. That is 15 fishing. Alright, so now that we're done with our fishing grind, I am going to go do that clue scroll, the beginner. You guys will definitely see a casket no matter what I have to go do. Uh, we're going to run over to Varrock, uh, get a spade from there, and that just also happens to be where the clue step is. Here we are with five cooking. We can now cook herring. Here we are with ten cooking. I honestly have no idea what we're going to get from this, but uh, I love the total levels. Here's a nice little milestone at 15 cooking. We can now cook trout. And there is 20 cooking. That's probably going to be our last from the shrimp here. Maybe one more if we're lucky. All right, so we actually did um, end up getting another cooking level here. That's 21. That is going to be our last cooking level for right now. All right, that's five thieving. So I'm going to open up these coins and then just drop them. We did not get them from a chest, so we will not be utilizing them on the account. And here we are with another thieving level that is a level 10. Alright, here we are at 13. That's actually like the first major milestone on the account. As you can see there, we can now thieve from a chest. Level 13. And we're going to head on over there after we complete the beginner clue scroll. Alright, so I just finished up getting my 10k here from the beautiful chests at the security stronghold. Now we're going to go do the clue. Here we go, boys. 
put a pog in the chat. This is our first chest that we're going to be opening on the account. What do we get? We got a short bow. That's so huge. But we already have one for our personal chest. But we get 20 fire runes, so that's pretty nice. And here we are with a 19 fishing. All right, here we go with uh, 20 fishing. I'm going to finish up this inventory. And again, just for clarification purposes, we are training fishing to 35 because it does unlock Temporos, which has caskets as a reward. And just like with woodcutting and mining, fishing also has clue scroll drops that we can obtain through skilling. So I'm going to allow myself to train those skills because they also allow us to obtain chests. All right. Lads, we are at peak content right now. We are thieving from this chest. That is going to be 14 thieving. The experience rate uh, per hour is a little under 2,000. But that's okay. Because we're able to keep the coins that we get from here. And I'm just chilling. We're having a good time. Definitely going to be uh, doing this for a little while. Alright, here we are with uh, 16 thieving. I also got 15 thieving. And I guess I just forgot to record it. Uh, we're going to be working towards... 28 thieving since we can so we can start getting nature runes this is a lot quicker so i'm just going to do this uh, for the meantime we have some cash so we don't really need any right now uh, but we did do that for 590 coins uh, at 10 coins each so it was it's pretty slow <laughs> i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and here we are with 17 thieving and there is 18 thieving there we are with 19 thieving 20 thieving only eight more levels to go 21 thieving another thieving level here that is level 22 we can now steal from wine stalls 23 thieving and there is 24 thieving 25 thieving just three more levels to go that is 26 thieving down that is 27 thieving we have one more level left to go. And here's the final level. There we go, 28. We can now thieve for nature runes. We're probably gonna be heading off and doing that really soon. All right, here we are with 29 thieving just from the chest. This is a lot better than the last chest we were doing. So far we've gotten 48 nature runes and we get three coins uh, each successful and one nature rune each successful. All right, this is our first level 30 skill. Looking pretty nice. We just reached a total level of 100. I'm really enjoying this because now we're really getting into the beautiful chest content. We're at 101 nature runes, uh, 893 coins. Here is 31 thieving. Let's go ahead and look how many nature runes we have. 160, and we've got a little over 1k now. All right, getting another thieving level here after this chest. We will go ahead and look... That is a level 32 thieving. So we have 225 natures and 1.2k. All right, so I'm going to stop right now at 250 nature runes. Uh, I want to get 43 thieving, and it's a little slow just doing that for right now. I went and tested the Isle of Souls on an account that's got like 60 thieving, and uh, it is incredibly dangerous to get to, so we probably won't be doing that anytime soon. But the level 28 and the 43 chest are right beside each other, right up here. So I'm going to work towards 43 thieving, and then we'll see what the experience rates are like for those when we do them both together. Here we are with 5 agility. Alright, we are all done here with 10 agility. Alright, so we are at 15% Hastidious Favor. And I actually think I'm not going to go train on the fruit stalls instead i actually think i'm going to start working towards the requirements for death to the dorgashin uh, i need to complete lost tribe and uh, for that i need to complete a couple other quests as well so i'm actually going to start working on that i think it'd be more beneficial to thieve from the dorgashin chests that give jewelry that way i can start to stockpile some stuff and have some alcables as well since we're going to be thieving some nature runes and it'll be a nice way for me to actually get up to level 43 for the other chest as well. And it's flavorful since we will be thieving from chests with the keys. 
All right, all you beautiful people, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you haven't yet and you watched all the way till the end, just do me a solid favor and hit that like button. It truly helps the channel out a lot. And if for whatever reason you're still not subscribed, which is over 60% of you, also thinking about hitting that subscribe button, I truly, truly appreciate all the support you guys have given me on my channel so far in episode one of this series like really took off and it absolutely is astounding i'm so glad you guys are loving the content i just love editing i love recording i just i love playing runescape so the fact that i'm able to make these videos for you all is absolutely astounding for me and uh, i'm just super appreciative of the support you guys have given me so far i just want to take this time to thank my patrons over at patreon thank you guys so much for your continued support i truly appreciate it and for the rest of you whether it's watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, or sharing my content. Any way that you all support the channel is truly appreciated. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.